Well, we know that twins share an incredible, sometimes inexplicable bond, but our next guests say they're psychic and they share one soul. Now, these sisters are world famous for their predictions of major world events. They've even helped solve murder cases and diagnose illnesses. Meet Terry and Linda Jamison. They're identical twins and they claim to be psychic. It's almost like we don't have to talk ever because we're all, almost always thinking and feeling the same thing. The sisters refer to their abilities as twin tuition. They perform psychic readings using a technique called automatic writing. Here, they're with a woman who lost her son. He's saying, I'm with Pearl. Oh, no. I'm with you Pearl. Chicken. Your chicken? You had a chicken? <laughs> a pet chicken? Oh, a pet chicken? Pearl? Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm this so isn't good upset because she just got oh. demised by oh. my daughter's dog. Oh. Terry and Linda are known for their incredible predictions of world events. They forecast the BP oil spill in the media before it happened. So too, this year's Japanese earthquake. And the most prophetic of all, the September 11 terrorist attacks. We are seeing uh, very terrorist attacks on federal government. The twins made the prediction on radio two years before it happened. And also uh, the New York Trade Center, the World Trade Center. Well, Linda and Terry Jamison join us now from Los Angeles. Good morning to you, ladies. Now, Good morning, how, did you, morning to you. how did you discover this gift that you had? and? Was it way back from being little kids? Yes, we were actually born with this gift, David. And I went, when I was five years old, I went into a school fair and they had a big jar of jelly beans. And you were supposed to guess how many jelly beans were in the jar, but I knew exactly how many were in there and I won a prize. 537, I think it was. <laughs> Good memory. Explain the process, because you call it automatic writing. Just explain what that means. Yes, we use sort of a rare uh, uh, technique called automatic writing. It's channeled writing. We're accessing information fields, Melissa, and it's otherwise known as the Akashic Records or the Akasha. We're accessing multiple dimensions of knowledge, and that's how we do it, through our automatic or channeled writing. It's quite, quite a fascinating process. We've been doing it for 20 years. Yep. Yeah, so just explain to me, how it works. Do you see and feel the same things at the same time or, or do you feel something differently each and you put it together? Well, we actually feel things and we even channel the same messages at the same time, even if we're in different places, which is pretty bizarre. Exactly <laughs> the same information almost all the time. We call it twin tuition. Have you ever disagreed? Have you ever seen something differently? No, it's not rare. rare. It is rare. It's rare that we will see something different. If we do, we'll go and ask again. Yep. We'll go back in and ask for more specific details, and usually we'll agree. Look, I've always thought having this power is a two-edged sword uh, because, mm. you know, you could see some yes. pretty frightening stuff that would scare you witless. Mm -hmm. Like, you predicted the September 11 terror attacks. How did you react when that actually happened? Well, it was a really horrifying experience horrifying. for us because yeah. we lived in New York for many years and we even worked at the top of the World Trade Center in the restaurant called Windows on the World yeah. in 1982, I think it was. Yeah. So we actually had seen it coming for many years, yeah. but when it actually happened, words cannot describe. It's, it's what kind we of felt. a scary thing. It is a blessing and a curse, David, to have this. Very gift. much so. A lot of people think it's easy for us. It's anything but easy it's to very, have this prior knowledge of disasters mm -hmm. and world terrorist attacks and so on. It's not that scary though. It's just difficult because we're fielding yeah. so many energies. That's right. So, so what do you do with it? Who do you tell and what reaction do you get? If it involves individuals, do you tell them or do you sort of tell... The good bits. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it's individuals, we'll tell them if they want to hear. Yeah. If they want to know the truth about their future, we'll tell them. But we won't yeah. go up to a stranger and no. say, okay. unsolicited, your yeah. dead yeah. aunt is around you, because no. that's unethical. But we've predicted most of our hundreds of uh, you know, world events on uh, national or international radio or television. 
and that's why we're known as the most documented mm. psychics in the world. Okay, let's run through a few of your predictions for upcoming events. Do okay. you see more terror attacks in the near future? Yes, in fact, we were on The View last week and we predicted terrorist attacks mm -hmm. in New York and D.C. and airports and it's already been confirmed mm -hmm. by the government six days later. Yeah. It's all over the news that we were right about that. That bin Laden and militants were planning such a dual attack. On and we predicted it before the CIA came out with that intelligence. Right. We keep beating the CIA to it. It's like, why do they keep missing this? <laughs> yes. You just need to go and hang with them and tell them directly. Um, the News of the World scandal yeah, right? is making news right now, headlines right now. What do you see in Rupert Murdoch's yes. future? Well... We see that there will be karma to be reckoned with there, if not in this life, in a future lifetime. And everybody keeps passing the buck. It's yes. like he should read our book, Psychic Intelligence, because Definitely. they all claim that they don't know mm -hmm. what their people are doing. And yeah. that's what our book teaches you, how to be psychic with your people. Yeah, <laughs> we're actually seeing a major health crisis for Rupert Murdoch within the next two years as a result of all the stress. Okay. Um, but he's got huge power, huge power. Absolutely. Wills and Kate. He's not going to be ruined. Pri okay. I'm sorry. Prince William and Will his and new, new bride, Catherine. Uh, everyone's speculating yes. about when an heir could be coming along. Do you see one in the, in the near future? Well, we feel like there's a pregnancy probably next year, and we're seeing at least two children. At least two children. Uh, we're seeing a boy and a girl, and possibly more, but we are seeing at least two born within the next few years. It's going to be pretty. Two Will and Kate. Mm -hmm. And I understand you're blessed. seeing something in Nicole Kidman's future. Yes. yes. We actually predicted her wedding and where she would marry and her baby, her baby. And in uh, Australian papers. Women's and Day and magazine in Australia. And we're seeing another child for yes. her by surrogate probably within a, a year, couple, years. couple years. Two to three years we're seeing another child born to her and Keith Urban. And we wish them all the best. Can I ask too, do you see your own future or do you see each other's? Yes, we do. Actually, she can always tell how long I'm going to be dating a guy to the nanosecond. Yeah. It's very annoying. Yes, very. And <laughs> even, you know, I just want to have dinner, you know. So oh, I can't help it. I it's hope a she gift. doesn't what tell you, I though, say? that it's not going to last. Yes. <laughs> you don't want to oh, hear yes. that. How annoying Down to the blind. the minute. <laughs> yes. He's so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> I have to try to protect her from getting too invested. <laughs> oh, ladies, it is pretty amazing. Thank you very much for your time. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Well, it was a pleasure. Pleasure nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Thanks both. for having us on. All the best. <laughs> Terry and Linda Jamison's book, Psychic Intelligence, is mm. out now.